presents Big 8 Conference Basketball. You are looking live at sold out Hearn Center in Columbia, Missouri. The number one ranked and undefeated Kansas Jayhawks meet the number four rated once beaten Tigers of Missouri. The rivalry is renewed. Conference Basketball is a production of the Raycom Sports and Entertainment Network. It's brought to you by Phillips 66 Super Clean Premium Unleaded Gasoline. Pump up to performance power from Phillips 66. By Buick. By your AgriCenter dealer. And by Bud Light. We'll return after this from your friends at Phillips 66. It's the 217th meeting in a basketball border war that goes back to 1907. And hello, everybody. Jay Randolph to call the play-by-play. -play. Alongside to analyze the action, Gary Thompson. Kansas and Missouri, that's enough said. You tell me what you expect to happen. Well, Jay, these are two similar ball clubs. Both shoot the ball very well. Both defend very well. I think the advantage is going to Missouri on the rebounding and Kansas with a stronger bench and probably from the three-point shooting line where they're fourth in the nation from the three-point strike. We talk about defense. Both these clubs can play any kind of a tempo. Both play at both ends of the court and both are very tough on defense. They are. Well, well they certainly are, Jay. In fact, opponents have shot only 43% against Kansas to 41% against the Missouri Tigers. So we'll see good defense. We'll see good shooting. And so the table is set. We'll be back to introduce the starting fives and tip it off right after these messages. All you need. For the Jayhawks, Rick Calloway. They'll have Mark Randall. Pekka Markkinen, along with Kevin Pritchard and Jeff Gelder. It's Doug Smith, Nathan Button, Lee Coward, John McIntyre, and Anthony Peeler for Missouri. The officials this afternoon, Rick Wolko, Stanley Reynolds, and Denny Freund. Kansas, 19-0. Missouri, 16-1. Norm Stewart's 55th birthday today. Stewart, the dean of Big 8 coaches, born in the little town of Leonard, Missouri, that's down near Bethel, grew up in Shelbyville, 55 today, and Roy Williams presented him with a little gift, Gary. I don't know exactly what was in that box, but he said it had something to do with helping Norm's golf game. Yeah, I don't know what that would be. <laughs> They are hanging from the rafters at Hearns. Happy birthday, Coach Norm. Young Tiger fan. Oh, I, think it's, I think it's Bob Sugbull's son right there. One of the assistant coaches. I mentioned this is the 217th meeting between these rivals. And KU leading the series 138 to 80 in Hearns Center. Missouri leading 11 to 6. Missouri has won four of the last six. We're ready to go. Markkinen and Doug Smith will go up to start things off. Rick Wolko, veteran official to put the ball in play. Hope you'll enjoy it wherever you are. Kevin Pritchard, the brilliant star of the Jayhawks, bringing it down, number 14. Markkinen is 44. Missouri opening in a man-to-man. -man. Gelder, 33. Randall 42 and Callaway 20. Callaway at the baseline in trouble, but got it back out to Randall. Good save. You see Markin a lot of times, you always see him come out high. He'll be a release man on their offense. Shot clock is down to 12. Pritchard up the middle. It won't go. Rebound button. Button, outlet to McIntyre. McIntyre driving through, and the first foul of the game. Foul charge to Kevin Pritchard. Well, McIntyre not driving as much this year, and their offense more or less staying on the outside. Harry comes in, penetrates. A good cross over there, and the step away gets him away from Pritchard, and then Pritchard on the reach picks up the foul. 
A little shoving and inside plays you're going to see today. Randall. And have we had a foul called on this inbounds play? We have. Foul is called on Button. It's his first. Oh, one apiece in the foul department. No score here in the opening moment of play. Both clubs like to get in transition, get some easy baskets. Missouri putting on some pressure right there. In under, Markinen is fouled by Doug Smith. First on Smith, and Markinen will go to the line. That's an area Missouri has to be careful, and that's fouls. They cannot afford to get in trial tr foul trouble. Good entry pass there. Smith from behind as Markinen takes it up top. Markinen, a fantastic fin from Alala Vescula, Finland. 6'10, 215 pounds, a 55.2% free throw shooter, the first point of the game. His free throw shooting percentage wise is down, but a lot of that was early. He started off and missed a number of free throws early, but he's come on strong. He's added a lot to this Kansas team. Defensively, as I understand, he's very strong, plays very good defense. Sat out Thursday night with a very bad cold in the big victory over Elizabeth City. The jumper by Smith from the corner wouldn't go. Tapped up. Peeler got the tap, and it didn't go, and it's out of bounds and belongs to Kansas. Talk about rebounding, and Missouri getting a couple sh chances there. Pritchard looking in, gets it to Randall. Randall guarded by Button. Callaway driving into the paint, off to Gellner. Good outside shooter, cuts the cords. It's a three-pointer. Well, Jay Gellner, you talk about a good shooter, shooting 55% from that, that three-point strike. He's fourth nationally in field goal percentage and a 45% three-point shooter in his career. McIntyre down on the line. His jumper will not go for Doug Smith. Well, the rebound margin, actually on a rebound margin, Kansas uh, has the advantage there at 5.1. And when you look at numbers to Missouri, 4.8. Callaway with the assist as he got the lob into Randall for two. And Kansas is out to a 6-0 lead. And Jay, you talk about assists, and you get one there. The norm about it is that there's assists on 40 to 50 percent of uh, shots taken. Kansas this year is getting averaging assists on 62 percent of their basket. That's amazing. Pass and under to Button for two. Missouri's on the board. Button from Murray Wright High School in Detroit, Michigan, averaging 15.1 a game. The Roy Williams team is what you'd like going in a big game like this and going on the road is to get off to a start where you have the lead. Gelder off to Pritchard, three-pointer, it's good. We mentioned one of the advantages is uh, three-point shooting for Kansas. 46% as a team, ranking fourth nationally. They came in with 136, a 293, back they come. Pritchard to Gelder, driving and scoring. Gelder getting the break basket. He has five points, 11 to two, Kansas. Kansas out of the blocks fast, and he said both clubs like to get transition. Peeler into Button, and Nathan Button scores it. He has all four of the Tigers' points. Kansas averaging 97.3 a game, 10th in the nation. Missouri, 88.1. Jay, Missouri, after dropping down 11-2, the thing is keep patience, keep your cool, just get it down where they got the ball, and that's on the block. Mark Randall, the 6'9 junior from Colorado's Cherry Creek High School. Scoring that one to make it 13 to four. Button again. Nathan Button has six points, and it is 13 to six. Gellner into Markinen. 
shot was blocked by Button, but a foul is called. And Button commits his first personal foul. Team foul number three against the Tigers. See, Tigers try to double up down in here, but Smith, they go over the top there, and then Button coming from the outside trying to defend on the helping defense gets the foul. Substitutions for Kansas. Terry Brown, good long-range shooter, replacing Callaway. And Mike Maddox will come in to replace Markinen. Markinen may be bothered still by that flu that he had. He had a very bad cold, did not play against Elizabeth City, but we were told that he's feeling much better today. Markinen back at the line. And Terry Brown coming in for Kansas, number three, and that's what his nickname ought to be, the Trey because he shoots that three-point shot, too, 48%. Markinen, who Roy Williams selected from hearing good things about him and looking at some video tapes, and uh, he signed this talented youngster from Finland. A timeout with 15.57 left, first half. of Raycom Sports and Entertainment. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or other use of the video or audio portions of this program without the risk and permission of Raycom Sports and Entertainment is forbidden. Mike Maddox, number 32 in the game for Roy Williams, Kansas Jayhawks now, working with Pritchard and Randall and Gellner and Brown. That's been pretty much the pattern for Roy Williams on that first substitution. No matter what's happening, you know, he comes in with Maddox for Mark, and then after about... Uh, four minutes four to five minutes the three-pointer by Lee Coward 14 to 9 and a foul inside Doug Smith commits his second that's the fourth team foul against Missouri Kansas does a lot of screening you have to be aware of those picks they'll back pick on you teammates got to talk you got to fight over you're not going to be able to push your way through Smith the big eight player of the week last week Average 27.5 and 11.5 rebounds, and here's a foul charged against... It's going to be against Maddox on a push. When you get that kind of a foul call, boy, that's when you want to lay off the next time. Let's watch Maddox right here. You see him on the move and right into the, de uh, the defensive man. Rick Wolko, the official on this side, right on top of the call. Maddox from Oklahoma City, the junior, who just came in a few moments ago, charged with a foul. Button controlling. Now Peeler, outside, takes the jumper, forced the shot. Brown makes the save, gets it to Gellner. Gellner back to Maddox, back to Gellner. Fine play by Peeler. Peeler just got the fingertip on it to bat it away. And Maddox knew that he made a mistake because he had a man coming in the middle, a trailer that was wide open. Jamal Coleman will come into the game for Missouri when he has the opportunity. The jumper by Gellner won't go. Brown rebounds high to the air in front of Coward. He's not fast, though. He likes to shoot the shot. Pitcher, it won't go for him. And a foul on Brown, pushing off underneath there. Brown's first personal. Team foul number two against the Jayhawks. Jay, both of these clubs, Kansas, have been so much said about the Jayhawks being a team-oriented team. And they definitely are. But Missouri has always had that concept under Norm Stewart. I looked at Kansas. The most shots that any one player has taken of an average on the season is Pritchard with about 9.5. That's amazing if you don't have a, a player on the team that takes uh, double figures and attempts per game. Number five, Travis Ford into the game now for Missouri. Freeman West, 34, is in for Kansas. In the lane, Lee Coward. Coward with his first field goal. He has five points. 14 to 11. And from the corner, it's Brown. We talked about him. He can shoot the three. The first 11 goals that he made for Kansas this year were three-point goals. And that a three-pointer. Coward in again. Oh, what a move. Oh, terrific play as Coward banked it off the glass. He double-pumped it, jumped back inside, and made that goal. Coward with seven points. Maddox dishing it out to Brown. Other thing you're going to find is two good passing teams. Maddox shot won't go. In underneath. It is West who put it up. Wouldn't go. Now Maddox again, and he scores. Boy, they kept battling, did the Jayhawks underneath in heavy traffic. Tower to three-pointer. Doesn't go. Rebound, Gelder. Well, we said Missouri might have the 
Rebound advantage, but Kansas Jayhawks going strong that time to get two. Maddox up the middle. His shot won't go. Anthony Peeler. They got three on two. Peeler's going to hold up and now drive it to the baseline. Nice play off the glass by Peeler, his first field goal. This is what the Tigers would like out of Peeler is get the ball, get it down in transition. He has the ability to break defenses down. 13-20 to play in the first half. Kansas by four. Foul on Nathan Button. Button's second personal. The two big men, Smith and Button, now with two. I see you coming all through out here. Maddox posting up. Button, Button evidently with a hand on the back right there in the little shove. And fouls, we said, could be critical in this ballgame. Rick Calloway back in for the Jayhawks, also number 30. Adonis Jordan, the freshman from Reseda, California, comes in. Rebounded away by Button. Shovels it down to Coward. Both clubs playing at a very fast pace. And a foul along the baseline as Coward was taking it in. It'll be against either Brown or Maddox. The Jayhawks got back very well at time on defense, but here's Coward taking the baseline, and Maddox sliding in on Coward all the way. Foul committed before he gets in the act of shooting. Team foul number four against KU. Coward into Jamal Coleman. The turnaround shot wouldn't go for him. Rebound taken down by Callaway. Now Brown. Maddox can't handle it. Coward got the steal. Turnover. Out to Button. Button. Basket is good. Let's see. It is good. The basket is good and a foul called on the play. We're going to see some action here. Here's Coward after the bad pass. Coward's good hustle to get the ball to Button. Takes one big step, goes up. You see the defense slide on him. Button with good concentration. After he took the hit, you still saw his eyes glued on that basket. Roy Williams, 39-year-old native of Asheville, North Carolina, and his Jayhawks button on the line. Alonzo Jamison is in the game, number 24 now for the Jayhawks. Peeler with a big rebound, bringing it back out. Jamison playing only a second ball game for the Jayhawks. The game eligible at the semester break. Button now has 10 points. 19 all. We're tied up. Heck of a run here by the Tigers after being down 11-2 and 13-4. Got to walk. Walking. Turnover. This is what happens. And I was looking at Roy Williams. You see him there now up, holding his hands up. Keep your poise. Do not try and rush and hurry things. They're the kind of club that runs well out of the set offense. They do not have to hurry. A 17-8 run by the Tigers. Button from Coward. Missouri has the lead. Button has 12. Turnover. And this crowd on its feet as the Tigers have roared back here at Hearns. They brought him to life, there's no doubt about that. The, the Tigers have brought him back with their inspired play. Button only had two points at Stillwater in the game against Oklahoma State, but he's rolling here. Howard's shot won't go. Rebounded down by Jamison. Jordan carried the ball, another turnover for Kansas. This talented Kansas club having some problems controlling the ball. Now this from our friends at Phillips 66. Six, you see the tail end of that fast break right here. Pass by Coward as they got the ball off the steal and Button up on the smash right there. John McIntyre back into the Tiger lineup. McIntyre, Peeler, and Ford along with Warren, who is in for the first time, number 45, Jeff Warren. Warren, a freshman from Hutchfield, Michigan. Warren with the ball right now. Peeler driving against Gelman. Peeler scores. Put the ball in defense, got him a little bump, got the defense off balance, and Roy Williams is complaining about the no call. Peeler has four points. Missouri leads by four. 11.25 to play in the first half. You mentioned Travis Ford, the ball game. He's only played 13 minutes in the last three ball games. That was the last ball game that against Oklahoma State. He's had some back problems, some back spasms and bothering him. McIntyre rebounding that last one after Pritchard missed from three-point range. Here's Peeler. 
Peeler into Coleman. Coleman is fouled. The foul will be charged against 34. Freeman West, his first. Missouri come inside. They like to get it on the block. Here's Peeler, leads the club in assist, gets it down to Jamal Coleman and uh, gets a reach and a grab there. Couldn't see whether it's by West or by Alonzo Jamison. It was Jamison. Jamison. Jamison, 24, committing the first personal foul. And now we've got Randall back in the lineup and Markinen back in the lineup for the Jayhawks. Norm Stewart and his coaching staff off the bench. They wanted foul shots in their play. Thought Jamal Coleman was in the act of shooting. McIntyre, three-pointer, won't go. Pritchard rebounds for the Jayhawks. Good check off on the shooter that time. Kept him from getting a long rebound. Gelder for three. Rebound Coleman, Missouri. Nearing the midway point of the first half. Foul on Peeler. Well, Stanley Reynolds put that whistle. They almost come with the tee on Peeler. And Peeler and Gelder uh, glaring at one another. Roy Williams, longtime assistant to former Jayhawk player Dean Smith at North Carolina. You can see the action. And there's the, there's the elbow by Peeler. This is not going to let this ball game get out of control with plays like that. Randall off the glass, banking it in. Well, Hans is doing an excellent job down in under. Well, and Randall strong inside, 6'9", 230. He has six points. 23-21, Missouri. McIntyre trying to get in there, forces one. And Pritchard comes back with a rebound for the Jayhawks. Pritchard to Callaway. He's fouled by McIntyre. Howard is going to return for the Tigers. McIntyre's second. Well, McIntyre, he had it right for the bench. He knew what was coming to Norm Stewart. He takes a bad shot on the other end. you got to give him credit for hustling back here, but he comes late as Pritchard makes a good pass through to Callaway. Pritchard, the leading assist player for the Kansas Jail. 17 foul. One and one goes into effect with 10-11 left in this first half. This will be a two-shot opportunity, though, for Callaway. Callaway transferred in from Indiana. I think he's really blended in well. And I think the thing that helps in a case like that, he played under a system where they're team-oriented in Indiana under Bobby Knight, and that's much the same here. He doesn't have to come in and think he has to prove something to everybody by being a big scorer. We've got Warren, Peeler, Button, Howard, and Ford on the court right now for the Tigers. Score tied for the second time in this first half at 23 all. Ten minutes to play here at Hearn Center in Columbia. A crowd of more than 13,143 packed in here. It was the toughest ticket that anyone could ever remember down here. Peeler's shot won't go. And it'll belong to the Tigers. 17th year of play here in Hearn Center. The Tigers are 221 and 34 coming into this game for Norm Stewart. Looked like the Jayhawks that time but went to a 1-3-1 one, one zone. Let's see right now. Travis Ford trying the three-pointer. Callaway high into the air, rebounding out to Pritchard. Not good judgment, I think, by Travis Ford right there. Good pass. hand under Randall, and they're doing a good job in the paint. Randall now with eight points, and the Jayhawks back in the lead at 25-23. A Tiger defense that time on the uh, inside. Coward trying to get it in under. Turnover. That's four for Missouri. Norm Stewart four times. Big eight coach of the year. There are the turnovers. National coach of the year in 82 honors for Coach Stewart. The birthday man today. And a foul on Travis Ford. He was working against Pritchard, a grabbing foul. McIntyre returns for the Tigers. Ford going out. Ford missed a couple of games, has had flu and back spasms. McIntyre out of Catholic Central High in Detroit, Michigan. A transfer from the University of Detroit. Pritchard at the free throw line. Complete package this fall. 82% free throw shooter, missing at the line. The Tigers could tie it up with a deuce, take the lead with three. Nine minutes remaining in the first half. 
along with Gary Thompson, Jay Randolph, at Hearn Center in Columbia, Missouri. Number one against number four. Peeler almost lost it. Back out to Coward. Boy, these Jayhawks really scratch at you on defense. There's Gellner committing the foul. Gellner's first. Made the mistake of reaching there. Didn't move his feet. Recovered, just made a reach and grab. One and one in effect for both squads now. Right there, should have slid and just had his feet and reached out. Using one hand on the back of Peeler and then reaching around gets the arc. Peeler has four points. The maturing sophomore from Paseo in Kansas City, Missouri. Been handling the basketball a lot more for Missouri. As of late, had a heck of a game at Nebraska. I see just dominating Nebraska, taking the ball coast to coast a number of times, 29 points. Fine article in the St. Louis Post Dispatch by their talented writer Jim Thomas about Peter and his newfound dedication to the game. We're tied for the third time. It's 25 all, 8.40 to go, first half. Pitcher and Markinen and Randall and Callaway and Gellner out there for the Hawks. Try to enter that ball to Post and that wing that Post team tried to do. And Callaway with a beauty. Played at Cincinnati, Ohio. In high school, as Gary said, transferred from Indiana. Now Peeler comes back with a jumper that won't go. And it is Randall with the rebound to Pritchard. I think you'd rather see Peeler penetrate and get that shot, that shorter shot, and taking the outside. And has not been real effective from outside around that three-point range so far this year. Randall doesn't get it. Warren with the rebound. Warren, a good defensive player for freshman. A good block out there, sealing off the board. Try to get a pass to Button. Tapped away by Randall. And a timeout with 7.51 remaining in this first half. And the visitors from Lawrence lead by two. Kansas by two, as we remind you, the 58th annual Big 8 Men's Swimming Championships will be held March 1st through the 3rd in Lincoln, Nebraska. You don't have to wait till then to catch that kind of excitement, though. You can attend the Big 8 swimming event in your area, hopefully. Big 8 proud to recognize University of Kansas swimmer Barb Pranger as the Women's Big 8 Swimmer of the Month. She qualified for the NCAA Championships in the 100 Butterfly and the 400 Medley Relay. Congratulations to Barb and the University of Kansas swimming program. The Kansas Jayhawks, the number one team in the nation. Incidentally, lots of interest in this game all over the nation, Gary. There are folks watching on satellite dishes everywhere and I want to especially say hello to the satellite in broadcasting meeting in Washington, D.C., our nation's capital. Those legislators there watching the action from Mid-America today. Okay, both clubs right now shooting 48%. That's under their season average as team. Missouri shooting about 51%, and Kansas close to 55% when they're second nationally as a team. Jeff Warren, the freshman, is going to go to the line. The ball there, boy, he's got him defensive man. West sealed off, turns, makes a good step. West with the hand, reaches in. Freeman West, his first personal foul. Warren, a 38.5% free throw shooter, has the first point for him in this game. And he was the only guy off the bench uh, for the Tigers to score any points at Oklahoma State, and that was two free throws. He does it here in the first half. Some say that he reminds them of Mike Sambody, the former Tiger star. Fourth time we've been tied, 27 all. Seven and a half to play. Foul charge against number 34, Freeman West, his second. Good recognition on defense that time by McIntyre as they went with the lob. Watch right here. Come across, his man comes off. McIntyre anticipating the play. Drops back, gets in the passing lane. Coach Williams looking out as he has sent number three, Terry Brown, back out there to replace Rick Calloway and McIntyre at the free throw line. 71.4% free throw shooter. He's had problems with getting in foul trouble this year. Rebound taken down by West. Here is Pitcher bringing it back. Gellner under to Maddox. Shot won't go, but Maddox is fouled by Warren, his first. 
And Kansas continued to do an excellent job of getting the ball inside. Here they steal off. Nice touch on that pass right over the defender's head. And then Warren coming in to help arrives there too late. Kansas is a team shooting 66.5 at the free throw line. Missouri 69.3. Smith coming in to replace Button. Smith has been held scoreless by the Jayhawks up to now. Smith averaging 18.7 a game. Leading score as Maddox misses from the line. Maddox has two points. Mike played on the select team down in Australia that Roy Williams coach. Born in Wichita, played at Putnam North in Oklahoma City. And the Jayhawks lead at 28-27 with 7.15 remaining first half. Warren and McIntyre, Peeler, Smith, and Coward on the floor. Trouble the Tigers. Line. Yep, turnover. That's five against Missouri. Jayhawks coming out and jumping with that trap. And the turnovers now five apiece. Travis Ford, the little guard from Kentucky, returning. Ford, Warren, Smith, Coward, and Peeler for Missouri. Kansas sets a lot of picks. Gellner getting it into Maddox. And Gellner, three-pointer. Jeff Gellner out of Charleston, Illinois. And Gellner has eight. Jayhawks really stretch your defense because they get the inside game. They've been entering the ball the post exceptionally well. Then they get the people that can shoot it outside, so it's tough to double down. Nice continuous effort by Peeler. He has seven. The lead is two for the Jayhawks. Six and a half to play. Steal by Peeler. Took it away from Geltner. Off the Smith. Walk. Oh, that'll set the crowd on fire. They might have missed the call out in the middle of the court. I think you're right. Roy Williams thought, so I looked down at him right away. He was up. Geltner's shot won't go. Score tied at 31. And over and back violation. And Coach Roy Williams is some kind of upset. National Rookie Coach of the Year. What a gentleman. What a fine job. This has always been a great coaches league, Gary, the Big Eight. But what a tremendous addition he is. Well, he certainly is. And what a job last year. I mean, you're talking about a job this year, 19 and uh, old, but 19 and 12 last year, when they didn't expect much of anything after their problem. So I think almost as great a job last year as sitting there right now, 19 and 0. Doug Smith with the turnover. He's having trouble getting on track. Six turnovers against the Tigers. Inside the six-minute mark, Brown from way out for a three-pointer, wouldn't go. Brown gets the rebound, puts it back up. Gellner underneath, and a foul call. And the Jayhawks are really doing a job rebounding underneath there. The action, Jayhawks go up and get the foul right there by Ford. And that's his second. The Jayhawks come and get another look. They're on the outside. Go to the wing. Bring it out with the shot right here. Gellner. 55.4% free throw shooter. He has nine points. He says his role hasn't changed this year, but he's scoring more, averaging 11.7. He's been given the green light by his coach. Averaged 3.7 through his career up until this season. He's had 14 double-figure games, Jay, so he's definitely scoring more because his high before this, I think, was four in any one year. He's three for four at the line, has 10 points. He leaves, and Callaway is back in. This series goes back to 1907 as a foul is called on Callaway, who just came back in. Gary, this, this series goes back before there was a Missouri Valley or a Big Six or a Big Seven or a Big Eight. <laughs> well, these two teams really get after each other. I know oh, boy. the fans, uh, this game means a lot to them. But if you're a Missouri Tiger fan or a Kansas Jayhawk, this is always a big one. I can remember some of the nose-to-nose -nose confrontations here between Coach Stewart and Ted Owens. A lot of history in both these schools. Kansas now third on the all-time win list. They've won 1,420 games. That's second to Kentucky and to North Carolina. North Carolina, by the way, only one game now behind Kentucky. And Taylor hits the free throw. Pritchard has come out. You have Markinen, Callaway, Randall, Brown, 
in that Jayhawk lineup now. The free throw is by Peeler. Also in there is Adonis Jordan, number 30. Game tied at 33. Six time it's been tied. Peeler comes away with a rebound, and as he does, he is fouled by Mark Randall, his first. Well, Randall, I think, was trying to come off of uh, the foul, went up for the rebound, and then tried to back off of it. Couldn't get it done in time. Kansas leads this series 138 to 80, as we showed you earlier. Missouri won both games last year, 91-66 at Lawrence and 93 to 80 here. You saw that graphic what he did at Nebraska last Saturday, 29 points. You got to add to that seven rebounds, six assists, and five steals of that game. By this young man is free Anthony throw. Green. Of course, won the game at Stillwater. He scored a free throw with nine seconds remaining. Doug Smith comes out. Nathan Button returns for Missouri. 5:26 remaining in the first half, and the Tigers back on top by two. Lead has been back and forth after Kansas broke out to a big early advantage. Markinen out front. Number 20 there. And, or number 30 there, I should say, is Adonis Jordan. Callaway is also in that lineup. This is Jordan driving. Couldn't find anybody. Good job. Missouri covered up exceptionally well. Callaway with a nice turnaround move. Callaway now has half a dozen. And we're tied for the seventh time in this first half. We do not have anybody on this Kansas team that's shooting under 50% from the field of the starters. Button losing it. Ball went out of bounds. And it'll belong to Missouri. Gary, we're told it. You know, it's so loud in here that the officials have been provided with an extra air horn to make sure that the teams can hear the end of the first half and end of the game. Howard didn't take advantage of that time. Jordan got him up to speak with the up fake, but then didn't take the drive. Button is fouled by Markinen. Button will go to the free throw line. There's the man from Finland. Played for the Finnish national team this summer in the World University Games. Martin, a good defensive player, but here they get the pass in to Button. He goes up, and just the takeaway there, the pump, and taking it away from Markinen makes him reach, and he comes down, just gets a little bit of the wrist. Martin with 12 points. Missing the first in, 55.6% free throw, sure. 51.8 from the field. About the only Achilles heel for him this year. Button has been at the free throw strike. Now Button misses the opportunity to put his team back in the lead. 420 left in this first half. Good pass. Oh, Markinen scores, and Randall with the fine assist, and Markinen has four points. Well, they go from the wing to the top, and with the defense fronting right there, he has him sealed off. Traveling against Lee Coward, another turnover. That's seven against Missouri. Trap has been good to the Jayhawks. They've come with it a couple, three times, and they've got at least two turnovers. Kansas plays with the personality of North Carolina, of course, because of the Dean Smith influence, but uh, Missouri, of course, is used to that. That should be. Uh, they four and four against uh, North Carolina, winning the game this year, so they've been able to prepare. It's been easier to prepare this week for this team than a normal team, uh, probably because of those games against North Carolina. Coward was trying to get it to Peeler. McIntyre is going to come in, but first we'll have a timeout, and we'll be back right after this from our friends at Phillips 66. For maximum engine performance, you need high-quality engine protection. Phillips 66. through Continental with convenient daily departures to your favorite island destinations. Continental, we've got your place in the sun. Accommodations provided by Hilton Hotels, which offer frequent travelers the fastest route to the free hotel stay. Call 1-800-HILTONS for details. Here you see the action here as they go from the outside inside and back out to Gellner, who can hit that three-point shot and zip. 
Guy shooting 55% from that strike. That shows you the problems that Missouri has in defending against a team that can really shoot the ball outside and as they've shown, good at getting the ball to the postman. Peeler and Coward, Warren and Button, and McIntyre on the court for Missouri right now. Warren with a good save, but he stepped out of bounds. He was on the line. Markinen, Brown, Jordan, Callaway and Randall out there for the Jayhawks. Three and a half minutes remaining in the first half. The visitors lead at 37-35. Peeler, Peeler steals it away from Markinen. Boy, can he get up. Well, he leads the Tigers in steals. You see there, he played the ball beautifully. And this is what they like Peeler to do, is take that ball and go. Foul on Peeler, his second. Peeler took it all the way in. The ball wouldn't go down for him. See if we can see the action. You see that? He's playing right in the middle of there. That offensive man has to make him come up to him. Here comes Peeler right here. Takes it in, crosses over, and he's got the defensive man setting right there, just waiting on him. That's Adonis Jordan, the little guard. Good position. Coach Stewart just having a visit, as you can see at the bottom of your screen there, with Peeler. And Jordan at the free throw line, 5'11", freshman from Reseda, California, went to Cleveland High School there. The Royals' Brett Saberhagen graduated from that high school. First point for Jordan. Smith returns for Peeler. Jordan moved from the New York area after his freshman year of High school basketball to California. Rebound button. 38-35. Jayhawks. Doug Smith scoring. That breaks the ice for him. Doug Smith. He's been struggling. That was a big bucket for him there. 38-37. Callaway driving against Smith. The rebound button. Callaway gets that shot off quick. Here's Lee Coward. Coward being guarded by Jordan, and they're having a real good battle now. The double team, and Coward trying to take it through, and the foul called against Adonis Jordan. That's his second. Pritchard is going to return for the Jayhawks. Kevin Pritchard out of Tulsa, Oklahoma's Edison High School. Coward on the line. He has seven points. Coward has been bothered by the cracked rib that occurred in the Memphis State game down in the Cotton Capital earlier this season. He needed only 44 assists to break the school record set by Larry Drew here. Second on the all-time assist list and 17th on the all-time scoring list here. Nine points for Lee Coward. Missouri by one with two and a half to play. Gelder looking inside. Now Randall. Markinen almost lost it, but got it back out. Here's Pritchard in heavy traffic. It wouldn't go for him, but the foul called on Warren. Now Pritchard seizing the opportunity right there. He saw the, the driving lane to the basket open, just took it inside and went up. He's got that quick stop and up for the little jumper. Pritchard has had 22 points twice this season. He has four. Sprained his left wrist in the Oklahoma State game. 1,456 career points coming into today's game. He's uh, in the top categories, top ten in just about every place you look in the Kansas book. Roy right, Williams, an assistant for ten years with Dean Smith at Chapel Hill. He quit after his freshman year playing basketball to continue his schoolwork and take a job because he needed the money. 
Coward at the line. Last foul on Markinen. Coward missing. Missouri having some tough times at the line. The visitors up 40 to 39. Jayhawks can pad their lead as we have two minutes remaining. Markinen off the glass. Half a dozen for Pekka Markinen. The lead is three. McIntyre guarded by Gellner. In the button. He lost it. Another turnover. Here's Pritchard back to the attack for the Jayhawks. The Gellner. Gellner spotting up on that three-point strike. Inside a foul called. Going to be on Gellner away from the ball as they set those screens. There's some real individual battling going on out there. Peeler's going to come back in, and so is Maddox. Maddox for the Jayhawks and Peeler for Missouri. Watch Gellner. Boy, that looked like a pretty good pick to me right there. I thought he was, uh, I thought he was set. Button will go to the strike. Button with 12 points here in this first half. More problems at the free throw line for the Tigers. Richard, little fall away jumper won't go. Button rebounds. Peeler. Doug Smith to Button. Oh, what a wonderful assist. Smith to Button. And he has 14 points. And it's a one point lead for the Jayhawks. Ball batted away. Peeler finally comes away for the Tigers. Peeler. It won't go. Gellner rebounds. One minute to play. A frenetic first half of Big 8 basketball action here. Pritchard, three-pointer. Yep. They're looking to see. It's a two. He had a foot on the line. Ooh, Pritchard, almost Pritchard trying for the steal in front of Coward. Now Coward with a little 15-footer. And it goes down. Thing with Pritchard's quick shot down here moments ago, though, gave uh, Kansas an opportunity for two possessions. Let's see if they do not kill the clock. They should, I think. Well, they there's the shot right up the middle by Mark Randall. I guess when you shoot 61% from the field, yeah, you'll take that shot because he's wide open. 16 games, he's been in double figures. 46-43. Button guarded by Randall. And a turnover taken away by Pritchard. Can they get a shot off? Pritchard puts it up. No, it wouldn't go if it had been through the hoop. And we're at halftime. And the number one ranked Jayhawks lead the number four Tigers 46 to 43. Big. And uh, Norm Stewart. Hosted by Rich Gaylor, Bob Sunbold, Dwight Evans, and Sam Moore. The sixth winningest active coach in America. It is McIntyre, Coward, Button, Peeler, and Smith for Missouri. There they start. And right off the bat, they go to Doug Smith. Six points for Smith. That was just a dribble out that time, and uh, Smith sliding down, and a good entry pass. Richard Calloway, Geldner, Randall, and Markinen for the Jayhawks. I think that definitely was a play at halftime. They just came out and run for Smith because they want to get him started and get him in the ballgame. Richard got it into Randall. He missed the turnaround shot, and Missouri on the attack, down one. Missouri's only loss this year is when they were behind at halftime. It's the only time they were behind at halftime all year to Illinois at St. Louis back in December. Good save by McIntyre. And Smith with four quick points. And the Tigers lead at 47-46. Got it in there twice. He's delivered it twice. Randall comes up short. Button rebounder. Uh, Williams uh, motioning the officials that he thought Randall got hit on the shot. There's another dribble out. You see the dribble just like a clear out. This time Randall fronts him. Button Can't got it the the away there by Markinen, but Coward recovered, and now the turnover as Randall cuts in front of Smith. 
the not 11th a, turnover. Jimmy J, not a good angle on that pass we just looked at there. If you're going to go there, if he gets it down on the bounce, then he'll get it through. Callaway in under to Markinen. Foul on Markinen as he tried to get it. He fouls McIntyre. That's the first player in the game to have three. Markinen with three. And McIntyre a couple times now has made the good play of coming back in off that pick and uh, getting in the passing lane and uh, keeping that pass from going through for an easy basket. Had one in the first half. Tigers leading by one. Peeler under the button. And the Tigers are getting it done inside now. Button has 16. In the first half, uh, Kansas did an excellent job of keeping the ball away from the blocks. Button had a few early, then they shut it off. Martin, Martin enforcing it, and Randall with good, good effort there. He has 12 points. Well, there's the rebounding. Uh, they had five offensive rebounds themselves in that first half, so they're more than holding their own against the Missouri Tigers in that rebound department. Peeler off the glass. Foul on Peeler. He's the first Tiger player to have three. You see good team defense and uh, anticipation by the Kansas defense. You see Peeler come in there, and man setting just waits on him, gives a little bit, acts it out. Rick Wolko, one of the big eight officials, comes in and makes the call. Peeler, instead of going in, now he's going to have to, that's twice that's happened to him. He's going to have to recognize, pull up, and shoot that little jumper. These two teams very versatile. Seven different players have finished the game as leading scorer for Kansas over this season. Four have done that for the Tigers over the years. The Peeler's kind of playing halfway uh, on Callaway. Pritchard is fouled by McIntyre. That's three on McIntyre. Oh. This is what I'm talking about early foul trouble. Uh, for Missouri, not quite as critical, I uh, think, out on the outside as it is with uh, Smith and Button. Pritchard has been called the best guard in the Big Eight, maybe in the country, by Oklahoma State coach Leonard Hamilton. He passes Chucky Barnett in the Big Eight scoring ladder today with that point. Travis Ford is going to return for Missouri. Game is tied for the eighth time. We're at 49 all with 17-27 remaining in this second half. This Kansas now that 1-3-1, which they showed a little bit. There comes a trap in the corners. And what it's done is slow down Missouri's offense on a transition. It can't be as aggressive. Here. You start looking for the defense. Peeler, an excellent rebounder himself. Goes those offensive boards, averaging 5.8 rebounds a game. Peeler with 14 points. Marking him. He loses it. Turnover. That's 12 against the Jayhawks. 51-49 Tigers. Gary, of course, this is one of the Big Eight's finest hours. Number one against number four, but uh, it was even better a couple of years ago. You remember one against two in the NCAA Finals. Who would have thought it? Big Eight basketball, better than ever. Button had it tapped away underneath. Norm Stewart speaking to that official there. Freund as Howard put it up and got it on the bounce from three-point range. Howard has 14, and Missouri has its biggest lead, five. This is that again where Kansas has to have patience. We talked about it at the halftime. It's tendency to pick up with the crowd, try and speed things up. They run such good half-court offense. They just got to stay with it and wait for the good play. Doug Smith called for a foul, pushing off against Gellner. You've really got to be alert against Kansas. He said they set picks all over the place, a lot of back picks, and you see Smith coming through as Gallner sets it. And there's the third on Smith, who just gotten back in the ball game offensively. Third team foul against the Tigers in the second half. Marking an outside, Randall. Missouri might think about going to the zone. They will do that on occasion when foul trouble plagues them. But of course, these Kansas kids can bust zones up pretty quickly. Markin and put it up, wouldn't go, tapped up and in. I don't know whether it was Randall or Callaway. We'll have to see. It was Callaway. 
And down at the other end, Lee Coward scoring. Well, that's another thing that Kansas worry about was transition. Missouri getting down the floor quick. They've done a pretty good job of stopping that, but Missouri out quick with the ball and Coward all the way. A foul is charged on Markkinen, and that's four on the man from Finland. That's right. You'll notice Coward right there. He gets away with a little bit of putting his arm out and warding off the defensive man. Markkinen coming out. Maddox returns for the Jayhawks. Coward trying to complete a three-point play. Remember that, too, because Markkinen, uh, that's a key foul for him for as a strong defensive player inside the post. Timeout. Missouri leads it. 57 to 51. Four for Kansas. Three starters, Smith, Peeler, and McIntyre. Three fouls for Missouri. Jay Randolph and Gary Thompson with you, reminding you that the 1990 Phillips 66 Big 8 basketball tournament is scheduled for March 9th, 10th, and 11th in Kansas City. It is a sellout, but you should be able to catch all the tournament action on your favorite Raycom network stations. Underneath, Callaway scoring for the Jayhawks. He has 10 points. That a place also probably set coming out of that timeout situation. A good call. They come up st strong on their uh, offensive set out to the wing and then fake it and then go back door. Travis Ford in there now getting it to Button. Button scoring. And Nathan Button has 18 points. His high this year has been 25 on two occasions. Missouri getting done right now what they what they want to do, and that's get the ball down lower. That Button, nine for nine. Randall's shot wouldn't go. Doug Smith with the rebound. Howard to Ford. 15 minutes to play. Doug Smith. Oh! Smith now has 10 points. He's turned it up a notch here in the second half. Well, and they're getting the ball, Jersey. They've isolated him out, cleared aside for him. Now you got Mike Maddox. Uh, covering inside the 6-7 versus marking the 6-10 and here again I think Kansas leads the patience a little quick with the outside shot good job down there along the line by Button McIntyre doing a good job as well Doug Smith out on the wing to Coward We've got Button again posted up there is Doug Smith it won't go for him Callaway Norm Stewart applauding the play of his team, though, as they got it in there for a good shot by Smith. Randall banked it off the glass. Norm Stewart wanted to walk. Yelled out, he walked, he walked. That's 14 for Randall. 61-55 with 14 minutes to play. That's the defense by Callaway. Williams holding his hands behind his head. I think Maddox called inside. It's Maddox third personal foul. And he's got a tough job in it now as he tried to defend inside. West and Brown are coming in for Kansas as we look at this play. See Maddox over the top right there. Trying to keep that ball from coming inside. Missouri's been doing a good job here in the early minutes of the second half. Ford, I referred to him as McIntyre a minute ago. McIntyre's not in the lineup. It is Ford, Smith, Button, Peeler, and Coward. And a turnover, the 13th against the Tigers. 61-55, Missouri leading number one ranked Kansas. Maddox. To Pritchard. Pritchard has the ability to take control of game. So does Gellner as he hits that one for two. Gellner with a dozen. Well, that's what you need to do for good shooters. A, a particular player like Gellner, you need to help him to get him a little pick. And you see there, they come the ball with, to the wing, and then they pick down, and Gellner pops off that screen and gets a wide open shot. Power is getting it off to Smith. He walked. Turnover. Bad break for Missouri right there. Good penetration of dish off, and then Smith just couldn't handle the play. Missouri has won 25 straight games here at the Hearn Center. And the last team to beat him was Kansas. That's right. 88. There's a turnover going the other way as Button took it away. 13 turnovers against the Jayhawks. And we're going to come back the other way. 
Norm Stewart is looking out at Rick Walco and saying, what is this? Maybe a good no call is as Peeler really moves into the guy on that shot. Maddox getting it to Brown. Now Pritchard. Pritchard in there for Callaway. His shot wouldn't go. Button rebounds. Up to Coward. Coward on the oh, run. Great hustle by and Pritchard. He's fouled by Pritchard. Well, he picks up the foul, but boy, that's all out effort. Richard Bell, you see it down here. Smith does a smart thing. Look at him come off. He's got three fouls. You've got to give up the basket in this case. It's not worth his fourth foul. Watch Pritchard hustle from behind. Going Gallner with the ball. Some people Pritchard wanted up. an intentional foul down there. Oh, no way. That wasn't uh -huh. too much of anything. No. <laughs> but when you're at home, <laughs> the crowd's going to want everything. Peeler's shot doesn't go. At last rebound taken down by Freeman West. From the corner, Gellner's shot doesn't go. And here comes Travis Ford on the run to Doug Smith. Smith this drives, a call. and a foul on Pritchard. What might have got Smith. The call here was a little ball fake. I don't know, I didn't see it actually happen, but just anticipating the ball fake might have froze the defender. That's three on Pritchard, here it is. Watch here, let's see if we can see what happens here. Here's Smith, the ball fake. Freeze a little bit, and then you see Pritchard on the step as he held up and then started this move on the slide. Watch the fake. He holds up, just a little hesitation, and then is not able to get there defensively. The little ball fake by Smith creates the opening. Pritchard is going to come out, and Adonis Jordan is going to be back into the lineup for the Jayhawks. 11 points now for Doug Smith. Rebound Maddox, 62-57, the Tigers nearing the 12-minute mark. Brown from long range over everything. Rebound Maddox, and he scores. Well, the Jayhawks come away with two. That's a break for them. I think Brown, uh, he can get a better shot than that from that three-point range. Jamison will be coming in for Kansas when he has the opportunity. Here's Coward. Coward scoring, and he's fouled. Coward playing more aggressively this half offensively and handling the ball more right now. They've got back to him handling and he's penetrating, taking the ball to the basket. Watching right here is the official cutting in front of her camera and he gets the advantage. Kansas not there to support this time, comes too late, gets it up off the glass, good concentration and goes to the line right now to try to convert a three-point play. Foul on Brown, his second, team foul number six. Brown comes out, Jamison is back in for Kansas and now we've got a timeout. Missouri 65, Kansas 59, 11.46 remaining in regulation time here in Columbia, Missouri. Any group in left, there was probably more to time left to see, but with right guards put... Travel arranged through Continental with convenient daily departures to your favorite island destinations. Continental, we've got your place in the sun. Well, Gary, they say everything comes around, goes around, huh? <laughs> well, you can see what happened right there. Of course, we have a few question marks left. Yes, and uh, some question marks, of course, on this game. And then wonder what happened when Georgetown and Connecticut get together tonight in stores, Connecticut. Wonder who will be number one come the first of the week. Both clubs have picked up their shooting. Missouri's really picked it up. They're up to 58% now. And uh, the Jayhawks are, uh, well, see, the Jayhawks have dropped off here to 44%, 22 of 50. Jamison put it up, foul charged to Button. Now that front line of Missouri has three fouls right across. A little shove to get position right there. Pulls up, and there's Button with the shove with the body underneath, takes it up into him. Foul call before we get into the active shooting. And four team fouls now against Missouri, six against Kansas. Brown with a popper. Three-pointer. Brown has half a dozen. The lead is three for the Tigers. And Jay coming into this ball game, Brown had 57 three-point goals and only 29 two-point goals. So you know what area he's going to shoot from. High school All-American. 
Boy, the Tigers did an excellent job right here the second half. They made some adjustments to getting that ball to Smith, and he's delivering almost every time. 13 for Doug Smith. There's the Brown is fouled by Coward as he took it in along the line. Randall is going to come back in for Kansas. Warren will return for Missouri. Warren getting a lot of playing time in this game, the freshman. Well, he has to to give some rest uh, as they picked up the fouls. You see Bunt now. They're going to come out and rest him a little bit as he picked up his third. You've got and Maddox Bunt. coming out for Kansas. Jordan triggering into Jamison. Brown being dogged by Coward. Good ball, Good movement. ball movement there. Brown again, a three-pointer. That's two in a row for the little guy. And nine points. And the Missouri lead is cut to two. We catch up in a hurry with those three-pointers. As you said, Jay, good ball movement that time. The freshman Adonis Jordan whipping it over. Getting over to Terry Brown. Peeler takes the jumper. It won't go. Rebounded back the other way. Freeman West doing a good job getting the rebound. Here's Jordan. And Jordan's done Jamison nice. underneath. And it is put up down there by Randall. Wouldn't go. Here is Ford for Missouri. Ford to Warren. And it goes when he's fouled. The freshman Warren. You're going to watch a young freshman, Travis Ford, here make this play. Really forces the break situation. He comes out, he gets the loose rebound himself. They had men matched up with a good crossover behind the back dribble, penetrates, and then hits the man coming in from the wing right here. And Warren gets it down for two. And that's the 17 foul. One and one in effect from here on out. Warren with the chance for the three point play. Misses it, and uh, he has four points, and Missouri leads by four at 69 65. Halfway through this second half. Good court awareness that last time on the, the break situation by Ford. Rather small lineup on the court right now for Kansas. A foul on Travis Ford. Team foul number six and three on Ford. A little freshman, no Western Ford. Kentucky Player of the Year, his senior year at North Hopkins High in Madisonville, Kentucky. Norm Stewart's birthday, 55 years old today. Jordan guarded by Ford. Uh oh. Peeler. Peeler took it away. And look at the pass to Coward. Coward can't get it away. No foul. Brown comes back for Kansas. Here's Jordan. Wait, what action? <laughs> From one end to another. Tremendous play by these two talented teams. Here's Randall throwing it away. Turnover number 15. Gellner, Pritchard, and Callaway back in for the Jayhawks. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Patience here. Again, he's just trying to rush things a little bit. Now twice they miscommunicated. There are the turnovers. 15 apiece. Ford and Coward on the back line for the Tigers. Warren the freshman with Smith. And Peeler. Now they dribble out right there, dribble down, try to clear for, for Smith. Ford back out to Coward. Good defense by Callaway. Kept his feet and kept his hands up on the drive. Gellner makes the save underneath after Coward had forced the shot. Here is Pritchard. And a foul called on Warren against Freeman West, and John McIntyre will come back for Missouri. Team fouls are now even at seven apiece. Both teams in the one and one with 8.45 remaining as Coward comes out. McIntyre is in there. Gellner will be at the free throw line for the Jayhawks. Kansas has had a little trouble in the second half of getting the ball in. The first half, they're doing an excellent job of getting the ball into the post. Well, West West hustle. the free throw line. I think I said Gellner would go to the line. It was West. Always Gellner. West lost it along the line. Another turnover. And West just a, a little over anxious, trying to make the play before he actually caught the ball. Took his eyes off it. Nathan Button back in for the Tigers. Warren goes out. Pressure now in the backcourt by Kansas. Peeler. Two on one. Up. 
And a foul on Pritchard. They put the pressure on back there, and Pritchard has four. I was going to say, might have been a good foul, though I heard it was Pritchard fourth because they had a two-on-one. It looked like a cinch two on this end, but that is a key foul. Pritchard will come out, and Adonis Jordan, the freshman from Reseda, California, back in. Roy Williams going to save Kevin Pritchard just to show you what he's done at, at Kansas in his career. He's in the top ten scoring, top of five assists, top five steals, and top five in game started. There's only been two other players that can get into that category or into those categories, and that's Darnell Valentine and Danny Manning. So what a great career Pritchard's had at Kansas. And it isn't over yet. Bench scoring 15 to 4. Favoring KU as Peeler hits the free throw. Peeler with 15 points. 70 to 65 Missouri with eight and a half minutes remaining in regulation time. Peeler hitting the two free throws. 16 for Peeler. Now Kansas with a couple of key players. Pritchard and Markin and sitting down with uh, four fouls. Missouri with uh, three or four players with three fouls. So. Gelder underneath, all alone is West. No basket. Foul charge on Button. I think this is on. I oh, it's, it's on, on four. Right. Must, must have been. He reached down low. In. Yeah. yeah, I thought Button was there. There's the pass. Good drop Let's off see. pass to Freeman. Yeah, there's Ford coming come across. It, now there's a good shot. We talked about verticality. We run away from it with Button. You see where his hands? If he goes straight up, Button will get the foul. Will not get the foul. But he had him leaning over the man, and that's where you get in trouble. West missing. Smith rebounds from Missouri. Probably a break, break for the Tigers, even though that's. Uh, Ford in foul trouble right now because West only 52% from the foul line. Missouri leads by six. Eight minutes to play. Boy, there's some tough play inside. Defense trying to keep the offensive man from posting up. Ford motion to clear out. Try. Oh, nice pass. Button wouldn't go. Gelder rebounds for Kansas. Boy, did Ford whip that in. He started on the dribble. The tendency is for the dribble down and then get it, but he took it off one dribble in. Jordan with a fine pass to Randall, who now has 16 points. And the Missouri lead is down to four with seven and a half to play. Well, Donna Jordan, another fine freshman. He's had 54 assisted to about 20 turnovers, and that's a 2.7 ratio, and that's awfully good. You look, and particularly for a freshman, oh, nice pass inside again. Smith put it up, it wouldn't go, but a foul is called. Well, Kansas was doing a lot of this in the first half. Now Missouri has turned the tables right here. They're able to get that entry pass in, and they've been doing it with Smith. So we said we would have to get into this ball game, have to get into the ball game in the second half. Jamison into the game for Freeman West. That last foul, fall, foul called against West, his third, and Smith goes to the line. 14 for Doug Smith. Timeout. Missouri leads it. 73-67. The American way. Away to your nearest Phillips 66 station and register to win a trip for two to both the Caribbean and the 1990 College Basketball Championships. And you can also win a trip to the Phillips 66 Big A tournament or tickets to games in your area. There are over a hundred at participating Phillips 66 stations. The Tiger. Will it be the Tiger or the Jayhawk that comes away with victory here this afternoon? Gary, I think the folks at home and you and I can just sit back and watch this one unfold as we show the folks the foul problems because this figures to be a dandy as we go to the wire. McIntyre also right. has three for Missouri. Adonis Jordan bringing it up. Pritchard sitting it out right now for Kansas. 
There's the pop out by Gellner. Good recovery this time by McIntyre defensively. Callaway with a jumper. Oh boy, that shot of his is a dandy. That high arching jumper. 21, uh, 12 points for Callaway. Missouri lead at four. Callaway right on his average. 12.1, and there's the steal. Get the ball ahead. He does. Geldner from Jordan. Geldner has 14. And Kansas has cut it down to two with six and a half to play. Good recognition that time by Adonis Jordan after the steal, completing the play. And here's another steal by Callaway. Sneaking up on the blind side. Jordan. Randall. Geldner. And a steal by Button. Off to Smith, over to Coward, back to Button. Scores and is fouled. Good job. The key play was by Smith. Out of control, wasn't going to be able to handle it himself. Instead of trying to do it himself, he flipped it off to the wingman. Watch what happens. He's out of control, reaching low, doesn't have the speed on him, gives it over to Coward, and then back. There's a Button trailing the play. Good execution, good ball handling. Foul on Jeff Geltner, his third. Button has 20 points. Jamison rebounds. Missouri leads by four. We come to six minutes remaining in this one. Callaway's jumper, pure, oh yeah, mm -hmm. 14. You see the difference right there in your offense is getting the good shot. And a uh, few times they've hurried it and uh, they're always gonna get a pretty good shot off that offense. Same with this club. Button takes it and it goes. Well, he's been tough. Button with 22. 77-73, the Tigers. Randall off the glass. Mark Randall doing a big job underneath with Pritchard sitting on the bench. 18 points for Randall. Coward's going to come back into the Tigers when he gets the opportunity. McIntyre. And a foul charge. Boy, and it will be an intentional yeah, foul on Rick Calloway as he was on the court. He pulled his, he went down. Yeah, he and slipped. he then reached out and pulled. And it's an intentional call. Roy Williams. Let's watch, he slips, McIntyre, oh, and he reaches out and slaps his leg, and uh, Stanley Reynolds underneath ruled an intentional. The big call. Intentional foul. McIntyre will get the shots, and Missouri will get the ball, of course. McIntyre missing. Tigers have had a tough day at the free throw line. He's a 71.4% free throw shooter. You gotta credit McIntyre. What you always teach the kid to recognize what the defense gives you. That time there's a slip, he goes down, and right away he takes the ball to the basket. Comes away shaking his head the fact that he didn't knock two down. The key here is they're gonna get possession. Coward comes back in for Missouri. Coach Williams sends Pritchard, uh, Pritchard and Markinen back in for Kansas. So the principals are out there, Gary, with 5-11 to play. Peeler will trigger it in. Out to Doug Smith. And Roy Williams got off about as inexpensive as he could right there, just getting the one free throw. Foul on Geldner. Geldner and Peeler have been going full bore all afternoon. Geldner's fourth. And Geldner, an excellent defensive basketball player, and that's why he's on Peeler, one of the outstanding players of Big A Copper. Sixteen points for Anthony Peeler. You see Pritchard there, senior. Heads up, he goes to Rick Wilco and says, hold the ball. I want to get my man over here, Gellner, on this side of the lane. They're taking a chance on a lane violation. The left-hander hits it. Peeler said this week that he'd like to maybe try out for the Missouri baseball team. He likes baseball. They say he's a pretty good pitcher. Right now, basketball's on his mind. 18 points for Peeler. Missouri by five with five minutes remaining. And the crowd rising to Cajun now is trying to keep these Tigers going. Kansas has been playing with a lot of poise, playing on the road. And they've got a good leader in there right now in Pritchard. 
Callaway's jumper. My, oh my, he has been something to watch in this second half. 16 points for Rick Callaway. And he just hasn't forced anything the whole ball game. Kansas zoning. Yep. Kansas in the zone. It looks like a 2-1-2. Right. Gellner in the middle. Okay. Parker shut off that inside game, force him to the out. Ford to Smith. Oh, fine play. 17 points for Doug Smith, Missouri by five. Pritchard on the run. And Roy Williams wasn't scratching his uh, Gellner. one of the offensive foul. Gellner's shot doesn't go. Foul. Foul is on Callaway, his third. In fact, we're going to have all 10 people here for it all. With this deep foul trouble. Here's Gallner, the wide open shot. It's a good three point shooter, squared up. This does not get it. And then good box out. Good box out on the defensive glass. Forces him to go over the top. Peeler, who just made two at the line, is back there. He has 17 points. standings coming into today's play. Oklahoma was taking it on the chin at Arizona. Missouri and Kansas going right at it. Ah, oh, what a year we're going to have in the Big Eight. Kansas will play at K-State next Saturday afternoon as the Sunflower Series continues. Missouri plays Rutgers here on Tuesday night. Will be at Colorado next Saturday afternoon. Missouri's won 11 in a row on the road. Coming up next, Colorado at Iowa State. Check your local listings. Randall and Pritchard. Callaway, Geldner, and Markinen on the court for the Jayhawks. The well, Jayhawks need to score in this possession. Down seven. Pritchard over four. Oh, oh, is he some kind of tough? I thought he might have forced that shot, but that Pritchard's a clutch player. Danny Nee told us that he just took the game at Nebraska in his own hands toward the end. And he was the factor that got Kansas to win up there. 84-79, Missouri, 320 to go. And Pritchard had uh, 18 of his 22 points in the second half in that Nebraska game. One board and Peeler and Button and Smith and Coward out there for the Tigers of Norm Stewart as we near the three-minute mark remaining in regulation time. Button's turnaround shot. Nice block by Markinen. The flying fin high into the air to do the job there. And here comes Pritchard. Oh, well, Markinen with 30 block shots. More block shots this year than any player for Kansas had last year. Pritchard, Pritchard being dogged by the freshman, Travis Ford. Ford committed the foul. 2.46. I think left. he's gone. And Travis Ford, the freshman, is the first player to foul out with 2.46 remaining. Well, seniors have a way of taking it on themselves to get back in a ball game. That's just what uh, this senior has done right now, Kevin Pritchard. Pritchard making the first fourth in the conference in free throw shooting, almost 83% in the charity strike. Pritchard has 12 points. Kansas picks up full court, 84-83 Missouri. McIntyre wanted to fire, didn't, gets it into Smith. Markinen blocked it. Yeah. McIntyre got it back. Well, that Markinen was quick that. for a big fellow, isn't he? 
Pritchard trying for the steal. Peeler controls. Off in the corner. Howard wouldn't go. Rebound, Geldner. Took his time. He had the shot. Just did not get it down. Three-pointer would tie it. He's got Howard on Pritchard. Let's see what happens this time. There's Pritchard with the jumper. Rebound, Button. Inside two minutes. Missouri by three. Well, the difference in going over uh, Ford as to Coward is about three inches. Peeler taking it in. Heavy traffic. Got it. Good penetration. Kansas just a little sleep on the helping defense that time. Peeler with 22. Gelder under Markinen. Timeout, Kansas. 127 remaining. 86-83, Missouri. Arizona leading Oklahoma as they're in the second half. Here at the Herd Center, the timeouts remaining. Missouri with four, Kansas with three. The number four Tigers leading the number one Jayhawks by three, 127 remaining. And we've got to keep in mind about Kansas, an excellent three-point shooting team, 46% as a team from a three-point strike. They're down three. Tower double-team gets it to Peeler. Off to Button. Button, it wouldn't go. Tapped in by Doug Smith. Boy, good defensive play with the block, and then Smith a good follow shot. Smith now with 19. Missouri by five. Pritchard shot doesn't go. Rebound, Gelder. Foul call as Pritchard went in. McIntyre commits his fourth personal. 56 seconds remaining in regulation time. Can everybody on their feet, Gary? Look around this place. Wow. <laughs> In Kansas, with a lot of time left, they don't have to shoot the three right away. They got two possessions down with five points. Alonzo Jamison's going to come back in for Kansas when he has the opportunity. Pritchard, cool as a cucumber. Pressure, free throw shooting. Jamison now for Markinen. Pekka coming out. Boy, what a tremendous afternoon of basketball these two talented teams really doing a great job marking the four fouls to see if they're looking for james and maybe to catch a foul and you can go aggressively on the trap they got the good trap it's called timeout. timeout yep timeout called by coward who was in deep trouble good heads up seconds play. left missouri leads it by three More people. Big 8 basketball is brought to you by Phillips 66 Super Clean Premium Unleaded Gasoline. Pump up to performance power from Phillips 66. By Bud Light. By True Value Hardware. And by Ford. Peeler gets it down. Doug Smith with the dunk. The Jayhawks came with the press to not protect the back end, and they got the big dunk by Smith in a five-point lead to 40 seconds. And what a second half Smith has had. Here's a foul on Lee Coward. Coward commits his second personal foul. Now, wait a minute. They're calling it on Smith. But Coward put his hand up. <laughs> I guess he was trying to do the set. <laughs> Kansas hit seven of the last nine field goals, and Pritchard's been at that line draining free throws. They're staying right in. Two free throws here still puts the pressure on Missouri. The thing you do not want to do in Missouri's case, I think I think that's what Norm Stewart was hollering out, all out is don't foul. Keep the clock running. We gotta keep the clock moving. Pritchard, he's been superb at the free throw line. And now we have a timeout called with 37 seconds remaining. Missouri 90, Kansas 87. Come back and join us. Kansas.
Steelers with their best start since the 35-36 season. Won the NIT preseason and the BMA Classic in Kansas City. Missouri 25 straight here. They've won seven in a row. They won the Maui Classic. Keep the streak going, Missouri, if they win. Their record uh, is 29 straight wins. It hurts. McIntyre to put it in play. Everyone standing. Well, Button got rid of the ball. Good heads up play. McIntyre fouled by number 20, Rick Calloway, his fourth. Good foul, though. You have to, I think, for Kansas right now, three down. There was 38 seconds play. you got to look for multiple possessions. you got to foul, hope they don't hit, or hit a couple of you come down and score. Keep putting them in those pressure situations of having to make foul shots. This is what these games get down to, is hitting from the charity strike. This is last free throw. He was standing way out front, just trying to stay away, and then they asked him to come to the line, and here he is, McIntyre. point, 91-87. Two points for McIntyre. And the Jayhawks are not going to have time uh, needing two possessions just to set up offense. They're going to have to go down and scramble. McIntyre missing. Four-point lead, Tigers. Here comes Pritchard. Jumper. Won't go for Pritchard. Rebound, Peeler. Peeler up to McIntyre. Down to Dutch Smith! Camper off right there. Although Kansas still not dead, they've got it within two possessions. Oh, good pass by Gellner. And Randall for a three, won't go. Peeler gets the rebound, foul on Jameson. And listen to this crowd. Basketball game by both sides. Tonight, number two, Georgetown at Connecticut. Peeler is 12 for 12 at the line. Make it 13 for 13. Eight seconds remaining. And the Tigers are going to keep their streak going and knock off the number one Jayhawks after a remarkable battle. It's so important for Missouri to win because of being on the home court. You lose one here on the home court, the Kansas puts you in trouble as far as the conference race. So they've done their job. Kansas will have a chance to get even when they meet back in Lawrence. And another turnover. Markinen is going to come back in for Kansas. Eight seconds remaining, 95-87. It's the biggest lead the Tigers have had. Kansas led by nine in the first half. They led 46-43 at halftime. Timeout, Kansas. Kansas defense not putting twice. They forced uh, Missouri to call timeouts to save a possession. The quality of play in college basketball continuing to rise and rise. Well, there's two talented teams we can see. It's obvious why these two teams have been ranked uh, where they are, one and uh, four. Tremendous basketball, and they've really stayed with it. This game has been undecided, really down here to the last few seconds. Both teams with two timeouts left. Missouri, after the game with Rutgers, going back out on the road to play at Colorado. And Missouri up to now have been uh, very good road warriors, winning their two road games. Well, they won a tough one at Memphis State and at uh, Arkansas. Gary, tremendous tribute to this Kansas club that have carried the banner for quite a while up on top. Uh, many people didn't think they would finish fifth in the in the Big Eight this year. Well, I got to. I'm not saying this to Chad. I didn't wasn't expecting Kansas to be where they are now, number one. But I thought Kansas was going to be a better ball club than people were predicting them to be because they had You're a right. lot of experience. <laughs> you were right. I didn't expect him to be in this position. But I don't think a lot of people did. McIntyre for Coward. Got him open. Oh, man. Smith takes it back out. <laughs> he loves this, this dribbling. And it's over.
85-87. Norm Stewart and Roy Williams shake hands. Norm's birthday present, a victory for the Tigers. For Gary Thompson, Jay Randolph saying good afternoon from Columbia, Missouri. The Tigers have done it. This has been a copyrighted presentation of Raycom Sports and Entertainment.